hello students today in this video we are going to see how to write the complementary strand for the given dna strand and in this question they have given 20 base dna strand okay and they are asking what would be the first five bases at the three dash end of complementary strand and what would be the first 10 bases in the five dash end of complementary strand and also they are asking percentage composition of the polymer with respect to AT base pair and GC base pair. Let's see. So to write the complementary strand for the given DNA sequence, you have to follow two rules. So the first rule is here the two strands run anti-parallelly. That is it has opposite direction. Okay. So in the given DNA strand starts with 3 dash N and ends with 5 dash N. So the next strand starts with 5 dash n it ends with 3 dash n and rule number 2 we know that dna has four bases that is adenine guanine cytosine and thiamine so in these four bases adenine is always base pair with thiamine with two hydrogen bond and guanine is bond with cytosine with three hydrogen bond that is your two strands are complementary to each other. That means the sequence of one chain dictates the sequence of nucleotide in the other. That is here A always bound with thiamine. That is A double bond T, G triple bond C. Okay. And T pair with A. So here T pair with A. C pair with G. So G, C. A, T and C, G, C, G, T bound with A, A, T, C, G. So the first question is what would be the first 5 bases in the 3 dash end of complementary strand. So this is your given DNA strand and this is your complementary strand. So they are asking first 5 bases in the 3 dash end. So from this we have to write. So the answer for a first question is so 3 dash and you have to write the first 5 base so G T G C A so up to this so G T third one is G and fourth one is C fifth one is A okay and the second question what would be the first 10 bases in the 5 dash end of complementary strand so, this is your 5 dash n. So, from here you have to write up to 10 bases. Okay. So, B 5 dash. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Up to this you have to write. A, A, G, C, T, G, G, A, A. Okay. And third question is you have to calculate percentage composition of the polymer with respect to AT base pair and GC base pair. So here it is your AT base pair. This is your GC base pair. So to calculate the percentage composition of AT base pair, first you have to count the number of AT base pair. So here 1, 2, 3, so this is CG, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then 12. So you know that your total number of base is 20 base. So uh, in 20 base, 12 is your 80 base pair. So percentage 80 base pair is, is equal to total number of 80 base pair that is your 12 divided by total number of base so you have given 20 bases so total number of bases 20 so they are asking in percentage so into 100 so 5 so 12 fives are 60 so it is very simple to calculate 60 percentage so indirectly you can write percentage of G C so 100 minus 60 is equal to 40 percentage or you can calculate that is the total number of 80 bases 12 so remaining is 8 so 8 divided by 20 into 100 okay so 
to 5 8s are 40 percentage thank you